Hello beauties and gentle beauties, Dissy here and I am back with some more Counter-Strike Souls, or as I like to call it, Counter-Strike Souls. So, last time I played this was, wow, forever ago actually, it was around in January slash February and December I believe. So yeah, it's been a while, and so this is going to be kind of like the CSGO series I have where I kind of just play some, some maps with bots on easy, because I'm a noob, what else is new, it's not surprising. And since CSS is a little bit more customizable in terms of options, I have set it to where we're going to be 14 bots in total, so that would be 7 on each side, I believe. So, and there's their name prefix, they can join team randomly, they have normal radio chatter, Ugh. excuse me, they can use, you know, every gun, every equipment type, and the round limit is 15 rounds, you know, all that sort of stuff, so only 15 rounds and my plan is to be kind of like with CSGO where it's just sort of minimal editing this is kind of a side series and I'm gonna do uh, two maps as a CT and two maps as terrorists so we're gonna go ahead and go random map and see what we get now I do have custom maps on here because of a mod I have for Half-Life 2 called CSS sci-fi so there's definitely gonna be a lot more maps than in typical base counter-strike source so let's go ahead and see what we get let's go Maybe, if I can hit the start button. Let's go, this time! Oh! Seaside Resort! How about that? Alright, so these first two maps are going to do as CT, so let's go ahead and do that. I always like to pick SAS just because I like the model. Round draw. Now there, that's right, I knew that was going to happen. One sec, bot at okay, let's go. terrorist. There we go. And yes, their prefix is Hoanga. Also, this audio is a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down. Okay, that's good. Alright, good thing bots function on this map, because I think a few of the maps don't work. I might be wrong on that, though. There's a telephone ringing in here. Hold on. Nice one, sir. Okay, it's nothing. That'll ring for a little bit. So, my plan with this is not to die. That is basically the best I can give you. And this is a hostage map, so that's, that's neat. Oh, right, I was going to say, I'll, the only mod I have for this is, uh... Well, a mod that changes all the guns to have black and black and gold. Basically. Here we go. It's a it's a really old skin pack from like 2007, I think. So it's it's kind of neat having an old mod like that. I really do enjoy it. It's pretty neat. A couple of the thing, a couple of the weapons don't work, I believe, but I mean it's still pretty neat, you know. All right, I I know we got a fair amount of money, but I'm just gonna kind of work my way up in terms of weaponry. I don't want to go too crazy right from the get-go, because that, that'd be kind of uninteresting, I believe. So, as I said, this there is a 15-round limit, so it doesn't matter, you know, uh, what team wins what, you know, it's just kind of... It's 15 rounds, whoever wins, wins, go. You know, if that makes any sense. And these windows are breakable, which is nice. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I was going to say, I can get at least one kill from here. Maybe two, if I'm lucky. Hold still, darling. Or not, you can move away. Let's see, 6v8. Yeah, there's only been two deaths on both teams. On my way. Oh, I make that free for the other team. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit closer to the action here. I want to do anything crazy. Hey, there, there you are. Oh, I didn't get that guy. That's a shame. There's one left. One guy left, and I think I saw him. I believe he's yeah, right there. BAM! Right in the head. Didn't get the MVP, but that's not really what I'm going for anyways. I got a good chunk of money now, so let's upgrade it to like a scout. Yeah, that sounds fun. And buy a couple grenades. And a different pistol. I love me a Nighthawk. Really do. And by Nighthawk, I mean a DESERT EAGLE! Because, you know, Desert Eagles are awesome like that. Even though they're, in real life, they are super clunky and definitely not made for any sort of combat. It's mostly just made for sporting. And you know, appearance. Yeah, that, that really hurts my feelings, that bullet. Missed. Mi that didn't miss. That didn't miss either. Two enemies left. 
All right, not bad. Nice shot, sir. There's one guy left somewhere. I don't know where he is. He's probably down here camping the hostages, like you know, terrorist bots like to do. Or not? Ah, there he is. I had a feeling he'd be down there. Come here. Come here, follow me, old man, and presumably Mickey in the corner there, being racist again. Good job, me. I'll go fairly basic through carbine. Now, unlike the car the uh, M4 in Global Offensive, you can actually use this gun on silence. I know, hard to believe, but I, like, I prefer silence because it actually is still more accurate. But what I like about it in this is that you can actually use the unsilenced one without basically detrimenting yourself. And there, yes, there is a bit of frame rate lag going on. And I've been having that issue with this game and a few other games where the frame rate will tank. I know what it is, I know how to fix it, I just haven't done it yet. That's literally it. But I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure how to fix it. I, I know what the problem is. It's, it's just that I need to I need to clean out all the caked up dust in my, in my system. Because it's getting too hot and it's lowering the frame rate to prevent anything overheating. That makes any sense. That makes sense? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, that. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I really want to... Well, that's a little bit of a lie. Sniper. Oh, a sniper, huh? I got my own sniper. Hold on. It's an auto sniper. Those guys both threw grenades at the exact same time. You're an idiot. I just shot a guy through my guy. Absolutely stupid. Whoa! Hey, now. Uh-uh. That's rude. This map, in terms of bots, is a little bit easy, as you can tell. Even I do have the bots on easy. You know, don't... The bots in this, even on easy, can be really freaking hypersensitive and, like, aimbot. It's kind of hilarious. That's why I have them on easy. Oh, that and I'm terrible. You know, that, 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 that's it. One guy left already, huh? Guarantee you he's somewhere down here playing with his balls. Yep, I was right. What else is new? Besides reloading my gun. Often. Wrong button. That's my. Ooh, my throat's a little nasty today. Find me a. Whoop! And off. Oh! Good one, sir. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Even though you're a pot. I, I said bot, not pot. I just got. Did I have an AK? You probably had an AK. Because that, that hit me pretty, pretty far. Alright, where is the rest of everybody? Everybody. Yeah. Rock your body. Go down there. That's what I thought. Relapse. I can use some help over here. Hey. Nice. That wasn't that bad. Cool beans. Let's use the broken loadout. And by that I mean just buy that. <laughs> I there and that is one thing I do like about CSS over CSGO is uh the loadout kind of like prefix system. I think that's pretty neat, but I don't, I kind of see why they took it out of CSGO. It's a little, it's a little out of place in that game. But in this game, I think it works. Definitely. It's a neat little system. It really is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the loadout system in Team Fortress in a way. You know, if you've ever played Team Fortress 2. Which I imagine you have. I mean, that's a very popular game. There was until Meet Your Match kind of killed it. It's still popular. What am I talking about? Oh, rude! That hurt, you know. And he he made a fair point shooting me in the face of the Glock because the Glock and Famas are very kind of broken in this. Also, yeah, the Glock skin for the gold one, uh, the gold the gold Glock doesn't work, but the world model does, like the uh, this. See, look, it's gold. But on here, in the view model, it's normal. I don't know, it's weird. Famas and this are very broken in burst fire mode. Well, not the Glock, but the uh, FAMAS is. Because, like, it's, there's basically barely any recoil, and you can pop heads really easily with this thing. If only the, uh... If only this gun was as good as it is on here as it is... Uh, if only this gun was as good as it is on here on Payday 2, then I'd probably use it. On Payday 2. By the way, that gun's not bad awful and oh 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 it's not completely awful in payday 2, but it's not that amazing. Ow. Nice. See what I mean? Look at there is no look, look. 
There is no recoil on that. That is hilarious. The only recoil I think you can get from the Glock is... Not even Burst Fire has it. Why? That is so broken. And he is so dead. I'll take your AK, actually. Oh, excuse me, as I like to call it in CSGO, the gay K, because this thing is broken. Yeah, fight me. I'm still gonna call it broken. I get it's supposed to be good, but I still don't like it. That doesn't mean I have to like it. It's like saying, oh, I like Dota, so I have to like the Dota card game. When, you know, you don't. I am more than likely gonna die, because that is like the whole team. And I just flashbanged myself. I'm gonna throw a grenade. I'm gonna throw another flashbang. Turn around a little bit. Pop that guy in the head on accident and kill that guy. Awesome. Okay. About 44 health, so not, not much is going to kill me here. There you go. Woo! One guy left. 14 health, one guy left. Alright. Consider me and my pants fairly... Oh, good lord. I'm so glad he wasn't paying attention. Ooh. I've always loved the SG. I even, and hey, I love it in CSGO as well. Which, by the way, I totally should record more Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I really should. It's been a long, long time since I played it. And I uh, would love to get the good old Metaton 5.7 back in the action. That'd be really nice. It really would. But for now, we're playing some Counter-Strike Storage. Just because, well, actually, funnily enough, my sister recommended that. Well, honestly, I've only, I've only got 10 videos for it. This will be part 11, or possibly part 12, depending on how this is done or whatever. But, you know. We shall see. And there's like, what is it, 50 parts on, uh... On, uh... CSGO? Yeah, 50 parts. Yeah, 50 parts. That's right, because I had a 50-part special with Rose, I remember. Man, that was a while ago. Much simpler times when I only had 50 subscribers. <laughs> uh, we'll say that much. Not saying it's particularly difficult now with more subs, but I've got more people to please. If that makes any sense. Yeah, well, you get me. So, how many rounds of this have we done? Ten! Yeah, we're gonna have five more rounds left on this map, and then we're gonna be, uh... Ugh, sorry, scratching my face. And we're gonna be switching to, uh... Another map. And the random system I've, I've noticed in CSS is a bit broken, and it... Not broken, but it's not actually random. It kind of has a list of maps that'll go in order. So, when we reach the round limit on here, I will... Ooh, I won't do that, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll reset... I'll, like, reset the server, basically. But, I mean, I'll just start a new, new random map and see what we get. Funny that the first map we get on my little solo uh, session of this is a custom map, Seaside Resort. Which is one of Zach's personal favorite maps. And you know what, I will not deny I like it myself, but it's not perfect. In fact, the scaling is a bit, bit weird. But it's still a pretty good map.